Hey everyone! Welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to create an email newsletter and use animated GIF images in it. A few weeks ago, I received an email from Withings with a new product release. This is how it looks. I like this email, and decided to recreate it using the Postcards app. I have saved all the images and text from this newsletter, and now I want to show you how to create exactly the same newsletter. Let's get started. Open the Postcards app and choose the modules that are similar to the Withings newsletter. I have chosen the header 2. From the content modules, I selected the content 18 and content 12. After this, I have selected the same content 18 and content 12 one more time. Also, I added call to action 14 and footer 1 from the footers module. I hope I have selected similar or close to the same modules for this tutorial as the Withings newsletter. Now, I will start to customize the newsletter. I will do this directly in the Postcards app. First, I will change the color of the background to black. Let's save this template, so we do not lose it. I will name the project Watch Template. Continue the customization, and click the Edit button, and on the right side of the page will appear Sidebar, where we'll customize our template. Click here to change the logo. Select a new logo. It's right here. Next, change the text and colors. I will copy and paste the same text from Withings newsletter to replicate the entire email. Here, I will upload the new image with the new watch from Withings. I continue to change the description and customize the call to action button. Let's change the text and the color of this call to action button. In this module, I don't have the background images, so I will remove them and change the background color to black. Click the button Done and continue the customization of the next module. Click the Edit button and start the customization. Upload the new image. It will be our first animated GIF image. Next, I will remove the date. I don't need it in my newsletter, so the date will disappear from our email. Change the background color from white to black and copy and paste the original text from our email example. Click the Done button. Continue to customize the content of the next modules in the same way, since these modules are similar to the first two modules. I will use the same text and GIF images as in the Withings newsletter. See how the online editor has more options than a template, but I will use only a few of them here. The options are enough to totally customize a template using just a few edit features from this online editor. I have finished editing these two modules. Now, let's customize the next module. This module will remain with the same white background, because in the original newsletter, it has a white background. Change the text and the colors in the same way as before. Also, change the call to action button text and color to make it more attractive. Okay. Upload a new image of the new watches and click the Done button. And now, we're at the last module, the important footer module, which normally contains information about newsletter and sender details. First, change the background color, text title, and description. I will remove the social media buttons and content that we don't need, because this content is not present in the original email. Okay, save the template, and the email is ready. Let's check the preview of our newsletter. Click the preview button and see the final result. This email template is very close to the original newsletter from Withings. Now, I can export the email archive and import it into my favorite email marketing service. Not sure how to do this? You can find instructions in some of our previous videos. I hope you have liked this video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.